And the more we learn, the more we realize that these other beings on the planet with us, they, they share our fear, they share our despair, they share our pain. And the more we learn about them, how can we live with ourselves if we're inflicting pain and torture on these other thinking, feeling beings? Two years ago, the National Institutes of Health released all their 400 chimpanzees from medical research to go to sanctuaries. I happened to meet the new director of National Institutes of Health. He's actually the man who decoded the human genome. So very brilliant, his, he and his team. And so I told him, and he put together a team of scientists and it included some people that I could choose. And it took them 18 months. And they investigated every single testing that was being done on these 400 chimps in these different labs. And the question that they were asked to answer are which of these experiments are beneficial to human health or potentially beneficial to human health. And it was something like 400 protocols. None of them, not one, not one. There are so many examples of vaccines that were produced using primates, which work to prevent primates getting some kind of disease. But when they were used on human beings, they didn't work and sometimes had very adverse effects. And sometimes procedures that didn't work on non-human primates, eventually were found to be very beneficial for humans. So that this animal research is blown up out of all proportion. We are faced today with a problem where so many people have been taught to believe that without experiments on animals, particularly primates, then we'll never find cures for Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or any of these other uh, diseases which at in attack the human brain. And so people mostly believe that because they believe in science and because they've been told it. And in fact, the more you read, the more you learn, the more you realize it's not true. Thank you.